My name's Jeff Bird. We're in uh, Broadway, North Carolina. My interest in Silvo pasture came from my local uh, ag agent, Brian Parrish. He noticed that we had a existing pine forest adjacent to the pasture land that we'd put in and uh, made me familiar with the grant project. There is a way to incorporate, especially the Wobbly Pine um, here in the eastern North Carolina and make it so that um, you can grow grass and trees together. Silvo pasture offers a way to not only grow timber, but to also um, produce food. The Silvo pasture benefited us business. It gives me uh, more potential grazing opportunities and, and I have to feed less hay. As far as the benefit to the environment, it allows us to grow grass, herds, and trees on the same property. And it gives me a place both in the winter and the summer to uh, offer shade and protection from the elements for my animals. I move them in and out of the shaded areas when it's the hottest in the summer and plan on putting them in the uh, Silvo pasture during the harshness of the winter. North Carolina is a unique state. We, we have a lot of timber industry in our different regions of the state. And so there's some good opportunities to overlap existing timber operations with animal agriculture operations. Part of our grant with the Beginning Farmer Rancher Development Grant uh, was to help develop these. And so NC Choices has some small funds that we were able to be put towards infrastructure, um, as well as leveraging our statewide network of uh, great extension agents. We're also lucky that, you know, being a statewide program that we're able to leverage uh, additional resources, not only the grant, but things like the Ag Ventures grants and um, other programs to help fund these resources. My advice to anybody that wants to try to um, establish a silver pasture, I think it's uh, best to try to find somewhere on your property that you have some established trees, trying to plant fresh. It's going to take you several years before you can even uh, put animals on that area. Uh, but either way, I think it's a win-win for the environment and your farm.